Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. On today's episode, we are going to talk about modern women are lost. These profiles and what's been happening in them, if you've been watching the channel, just shows they have absolutely no clue what the hell they're doing. And uh, let's just get into it. So she's 31 and she says, a look, a few years ago, a few shots of wild turkey, a key bump would have gotten me, gotten you pretty damn far. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's okay. We'll continue on this. Uh, th wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Stuff. All right. But I'm a changed woman. Okay. She's changed. I ain't getting down for less than three dinners or access to a streaming network I don't already have <laughs> or some LSD or something like that. I I mean, so I don't know if this is troll. You know, often we get uh, the profiles are so outrageous that they could be troll. So I don't know. But I mean, she doesn't say laugh out loud anywhere, but it, let's continue. Anyway, I'm pretty fun. I mean, she's I'll give her that. She does sound fun and completely nuts and lost. Okay. Like to go to bed by 10. We'll stay out later if it if you'll let me scream, sing. It's all coming back to me now by Canadian superstar Celine Dion in your car. Maybe, I mean, maybe it could be troll, but I mean, swipe left if not. My dogs might might watch us bone. So this could be troll her being funny. I mean, it is it is pretty funny. Um but that's all that's all this person has. So I mean it is <laughs> for me to be hard nope. to ask. But I will compare to some other angry people, uh, this does at least seem fun. So I'll I'll give her credit for that. So if it is troll, uh, you you trick me. Okay, good stuff. Let's move on. Uh okay, so she's 38 and she says, please only swipe if you're looking for a serious connection. All right. I have great taste, so feel lucky if I talk to you. Nope. This showing up with this kind of ego when he, I mean, this is not a super skinny person. I mean, you're only getting this zoom in her face. And you, and gentlemen, you all know if you get is just a zoom in of some, if I just give a bunch of face pictures of a girl, usually the rest of her is large. So again, this kind of attitude and ego, not attractive, not what men want, um, you know, I, and certainly not funny. The last one was pretty funny. So, uh, okay, let's continue. So she's 28 and she says about me, please do not swipe if you can't read. I mean, ma'am, if I couldn't read, I couldn't read this sentence, right? So I couldn't read the whole thing. I'm just saying, right? I mean, okay. I like to be spoiled. Nope. Ugh. Ugh. I just, sorry, I just threw up my mouth. Um, well respected. If you are well respected, you would, you don't need to say that, right? You just would, we'd get to know you and know that you're respected. Why would you put this? I mean, do you think high value people need to put they're respected? They don't. And treated like a queen. No, don't put this. We just had this episode. You're not all queens. It's impossible. Just don't do this. Okay. Anything else is non-negotiable. I mean, what, what else is non-negotiable? You're just, you want to be put on this pedestal, which is not going to happen. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for a one night stand, don't swipe me. I mean, you don't need to put this. You just don't. Ladies. You welcome to keep putting this in your profile. If the guy is just trying to, you know, once you go out and meet for drinks or whatever, or wherever you're gonna do, and he tries that, then you just don't go home. I mean, it's you, you have choice, but okay. If you're uh, with bad uh, punctuation, you're acting like I'm not the catch. Don't swipe me. Well, ma'am, you're not, and this is your lost exactly. You're not the catch. You're, you're not, nothing on this profile. Also, you can't see down here below, I, I cut off, sorry. She has kids, so single mom with all this stuff, all these requirements, all this anger, all this, I'm a queen. 
And she says, let's save each other's time on here, dot, dot, dot. Nope. Yeah, let's save time back because we'll just swipe left. It's just uh, this attitude it just shows how you, you guys don't know, have no clue what guys actually want. And just, again, the theme. They're lost. Modern women are lost. This is not how you want to treat men you want. Let's continue. So she is 29. Uh, and wow, he, this one just, okay. About me. Let's get a few things out of the way. Not vegan. Okay. Got it. I live off animal protein. All right. It's fine. Right wing capitalist. No, I don't work out. Who are you talking to, ma'am? Is there someone you're having this conversation with? Like, I mean, I... <laughs> women. Okay. <laughs> it's called good old fashioned hard manual labor. I mean, are are you in prison? <laughs> I mean, what what hard? Wait, Bruh. I love to know what job she has. For, to, you know, hard manual. Okay. If that's a foreign concept to you, please swipe left. Why are you so angry? Like, you know, what? Look, go go talk to the lady in the first one. You know, maybe go chill, do some some hard stuff, and chill out with her. I don't know. I but I just don't get talking like this to people. Okay. I believe in karma. <laughs> Not interested in E and M poly. If again, for people who don't know what that is, that's um, ethylene non-monogamous. Alcohol is fun a handful times a month, but no, but hard no to 420. Okay. And then she said, this is why I felt this so, sounds all the other thing. Not looking for a relationship. Then why all of the, who cares what, okay. Unvaccinated. Again, let's move past this crap. Let's move past unvaccinated. Seriously. It doesn't matter. Believe it or not. I'm quite non-judgmental. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the, the, again, lost. The lack of self-awareness. You sure seem pretty judgmental. I mean, you sure seem judgmental of, let's go through the list of things you seem judgmental about. Okay, vegan. Seems judgmental vegans. Seems judgmental of left-wing people. Seems judgmental of people who work out. Seems judgmental of people who don't understand manual labor. Seems judgmental in people who are into e and poly. Seems judgmental about people who drink alcohol a lot. And weed. Uh, seems judgmental, I mean, it seems judgmental of people who got vaccinated. I mean, <laughs> wow, okay. just lost. This is, men do not want this. You're angry and, you know, tone it down. Really, you know, just, no, do it. We'll do it right now in my dating profile. All right, let's move on. Oh, guys, just the jokes write themselves. Okay, so she's 37 and an exotic dancer, and she says, exotic dancer, to twice. Got to put that. <laughs> nope. Okay. Then puts her age again. <laughs> Dude, ma'am, it's right above us. We're, we can see it right here, 37 and 30. Okay, it all matches, though. That's cool. And, of course, just like every single mom, they're going to lead with it. Let's lead with, I'm a mother. I just, I... It, it's not you don't get a gold star for this you're looking for a guy to date it doesn't yes and that's fine it's better than having having the picture with a kid with this this outfit she has on but that's so that's fair now she does say open-minded and non-judgmental i believe her because she's just the outfit she has on i do believe that but then she ends with she starts with exotic dancer and ends with looking for a real relationship. This is Sparta! Yeah, I mean, you seem super lost, ma'am. Like, this is just wild that you would start in your profile with exotic dancer <clears throat> and then looking for a real relationship. Again, just other ways to put it. I mean, I'm not saying. Uh, Bedroom fun workers can't have relationships. But, you know, there's an element to, we can talk about this stuff. So are you, but again, this picture makes, are you looking for work or are you looking for actually someone to, I don't know. Again, it's very lost profile. Once again, let's move on. 
Okay, so she's 36 and says, <clears throat> pardon me. She says she's she's queer, so this is interesting, um, but it's not saying looking for, kind of confusing here. Okay. Oh, yeah, but yeah, it does say she's looking for a man. So, yeah, very confused. So, all right. Fine being queer, I don't know what she's referring to then. Um, bad girl past with a mostly good girl present. And there it is, gentlemen and ladies. Like, you got run through in your 20s, it sounds like. You have done all that stuff. And now I want to find a guy to settle with who will accept all this stuff. I mean, it, yeah. Nope. Okay. PhD, leading with more irrelevancy. We don't care about that. It's just, we don't care. I mean, I, I hate to tell women this, that they got these degrees that the kind of guys they want don't care. Sober and vegetarian, so okay, but not annoying about either. We know that. All right, relatively new to being a MILF. What, what does that mean? I mean, did you just have a kid or you just got effable? I don't really know. This GGG thing is referring to bedroom fun, so that that's a cool thing, I guess. Uh, you can look that up yourself. It's giving good game. Fine. Um, you. Okay, so now here's the thing she wants out of a, of a guy. Witty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sure. Wait. Girls like funny guys? No way. Okay. Smart. Driven. A feminist. Okay. Not voting, and there was a local uh, left-wing governor. Again, like we're not going to politics on this channel. And then finally, man with the plan. So she wants. Here, here we go. My list of uh, you know, I want a Chad type guy, driven, successful guy, attractive. I'm gonna guess. Uh, make plans, and also a feminist, and who's gonna be gonna deal with my past, which. A past does matter. It really does. You can look up the data on this. I know this is another tough pill to swallow, but a woman who slept with a hundred guys is not the same as a guy who slept with a hundred women. It's just not. And they, it messes with their heads. So here we go. Bruh. Uh, she's talking about things that are relevant. I mean, I guess she, there at least was a couple things that attracted a guy, but again, I, why are you putting queer then if you're looking for a guy? Strange stuff. All right. Um, we continue. So she's 46 years old. And she says, I am 46 years old. <laughs> I make it up. Okay. April B-Day. Uh, who cares? Okay. And then here, just a list of things that doesn't matter to men. Proud mother of three and grandmother of two boys. I know you... Uh, women... The ladies who watch my channel, I know you love your kids. I love my kids too. Everyone loves their kids. We don't need to put this here. Just lead with this crap. It doesn't matter. It does not matter to men. It does, should not matter until we're meeting those people. And also, it, this just shows the lo how lost women are about what men actually want. The last thing a man is thinking, um, and just the truth, even an older man, a guy in his 60s, is not thinking... Man, I can't wait to have bedroom fun with a grandmother. It's just the truth. I mean, you can get mad about it. It's just the truth. All right. Work with special needs children. Again, fantastic. We don't care about your job. It's very, you, you seem like you've got a, a tender heart. There we go. I have tattoos in case body art is not your thing. You could just have a picture of you with tattoos as well. I don't know why you need to put this, okay? And then, again, another list of things that men don't want or don't like. I am not thin, so if what you expect is thin and sexy, swipe on. I mean, why would a man want a sexy woman? I mean, <sighs> just lost. Okay, and then finishes with, I am not here to pay anyone's bills or be a sugar mama. I mean, and laugh emoji. I, great. You, your profile is full of things that men don't want. Congratulations. And this paying anyone bills or sugar mama. I mean, if, if you're saying I'm a big, I mean, overweight grandma with 
a, a bunch of kids and grandkids, then, you know, maybe that would not be a terrible deal. But no, again, they still want the sexy man that they dream of, this fantasy. They have no, no compromise. No, it's got to be still got to make my, you know, thing tingle. You're not getting that guy anymore. Nope. You're not. With this list of stuff, you're not getting it, and they just don't want to face reality, and uh, yeah, this just shows, just lost. It's not happening. In the same token, if a man, and women uh, who watch my channel, please put it in the comments or send it to me, datingdelusions at gmail.com. If a man says, I'm overweight, I don't have any money, uh, I don't have a, a good career, I'm short, you know, because like, women like tall guys and is like going, you know, but I still want this and that and the other thing and I'm not willing to, yeah, no, you're gonna have to compromise, ma'am. You are, period. Anyway, and the final one. Oh, this is so good. Uh, yeah, so this is a very big girl. Um, oh, I crossed out her, okay, she's 23. I don't know why I did that, uh, sorry. Best, and she has a picture, best kitty, best mouth i mean so i guess she's saying she's g good in bed okay i just i didn't even notice that wow it's, it's very poor best food and the best vibe all right th that's okay that's not a it's not horrible that's fine um but then let's continue i'm fluffy and soft and i'll keep my man warm at night i will say she has made at least things that guys like in here but the entitlement as we go and again this body Man, you need to go to the gym and get your life in order. Um, I'm driven to be successful and I won't stop until I own my own business and build an empire. I, ma'am, you've watched way too many TV shows. You just, you have, you've watched way too many, you know, you watch that show Empire, you watch this stuff, so. So if you're in, I don't know what I want to do with my life type of person. Please stay the fuck away from me. Okay. What do I bring to the table? I am the MF and table 100%. That just outrageous. You're again wanting a guy to be with you because of what you're going to become, which you would never give to a guy. Uh, women would never they, they don't wait for a guy to be successful uh, they get with him when he's successful they don't do that R remember that so I mean to, to ask a guy to you know well, I'm allowed I'm gonna build an empire and all this stuff no you're not the table that's just again delusion and you're lost ma'am this is why why you're in this episode so um so okay so to spoil me I, sorry I, I didn't get this whole thing um so she wants a guy to spoil her and make her feel safe, satisfied, and taken care of. Again, no. Nope. You, a guy like that, guys who are driven, successful guys, who, first of all, they're not going to spoil you, but to take care of you and things like that, you have to be outstanding yourself. And, ma'am, you need to go to the personal trainer like yesterday. Like, she's significantly overweight. I mean, not even a good housekeeper. And, you know, wants this dream fantasy of building an empire. I mean, th these guys, guys like that who are driven and motivated and things like that, they don't need, they've are already, they're doing, they're successful already. They don't need, they need a support person, but they don't need someone to, to join them to build this empire. And, you know, it's just, it's delusion. Um, I will leave it there for today. I hope everyone enjoyed another episode of Dating Delusions. Uh, if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and comment. You know, we're, we're getting subscribers, but it is, it's slow. It's slow going. I really appreciate the sub if you did enjoy the content. And we'll see you on the next, on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.